Hey friends, Grizzly Moon here with Ozark Zero, and uh, happy 12, 12, 12 to you people out there. Uh, today happens to be my birthday. Yes, sir. I was born 12, 12, 1975, uh, which for those slow with their math actually makes me 37. But uh, I feel pretty young for a man my age, despite the fact that I'm almost completely white-headed. Uh, well, at least not completely, but I got a lot more white hairs than I should for a guy my age. Anyways, I just wanted to make a little quick video for you guys and just come say hey since it was my birthday and uh, I appreciate all you guys always coming to watch the videos and stuff. And I thought you might like a, vill a uh, tour of my little pirate village while we were here. So uh, let's see, Do -do -do. go back to my regular view. Here on the pirate ship itself, if you haven't been to visit, they uh, we do have a nice little crew quarters here in the back where everybody sleeps. There's a big dining table here. Um, let's see, if you go upstairs. There's, of course, the uh, the captain and the uh, the main crew quarters. Probably the quartermaster and the first mate. Over here we got the captain's chest, which, of course, has gold and everything you can want in there. Uh, if we go up one more floor, up here to where you steer this bad baby, right there we go. Anyways, uh, around the, uh, the pirate ship, and, of course, there's the British ship, which pretty much mirrors this one almost exactly. We have the pirate fort itself over here, which is one of the first buildings I built here on this island. Although it wasn't quite so detailed. I, I fancied it up once we came back into creative. Uh, it's got the main body of the fort there itself. And there's a little tower over here to the side. Let's see. And after I built that fort, I decided I would just sort of keep building on a pirate village. And so I made these little docks here. I figured the ships needed somewhere to make port. And of course, every pirate village needs a good saloon where the pirates can go and get drunk after they make uh, all that booty out in the high seas. And so they come here to the, uh, the Devil's Doubloon Saloon which is an excellent place for the, uh, well, it's got pretty milky grog, but it's not bad. Really, it's not bad at all. And uh, over here across the way, we've got a little market square out the back even. Let's see. Run over here. There we go. A couple little market stalls for people to sell knickknacks and wasmajigs and kebabs. You would galore. Here's a little blacksmith shop. If you go inside, see so he's got a table to do his selling at, but here in the back he's got his anvil and his fire, his water to cool things off. And then uh, he lives downstairs over here. Uh, we keep going around the bend here. We come to the inn, which is where you should stay if you ever come to this little pirate village, which I still have not named as of yet. I'm going to avoid that creeper so he doesn't blow anything up, though. There we go. Now he can't get back out. So here at the inn, this is the, uh, the Rapscallion's Rest. Got a nice little counter in here. Of course, they do serve food. Which is uh, quite nice, actually. It's very tasty. Whoa, that creeper's following me, and he did blow up. That's okay. <laughs> Probably minimal damage. I can fix that later. I think we've just got a couple of rooms up here, and they are tiny. But uh, if you got the coin, you can probably convince the innkeeper to let you stay in his personal room, which is up here. It's a little bit bigger. He's got a giant bed. Not really much to speak of, though. Um, doo -doo -doo. If we go back down this way, we can go out this door in the end. Come out to the upstairs balcony. It's a nice place to come and have a snack after you wake up in the mornings. Uh, let's see. This here's our little sawmill. And uh, while we do have a, a water wheel inside to actually power the saw, it, it doesn't move. Even with pistons, that would just be needlessly complex, I think. But you'll see inside, I do have it rigged up to a blade that uh, if it did spin, we'd cut this log right in half, shoot it out that sh uh, slot right there, out to sea where they could move it where it needed to go. Of course, it comes in through the uh, the river right here, over this little bridge, which uh, connects this part of town over back to the main docks of town. Also over here at this end of town, we've got the uh, little factory here, the uh, the Scurvy Dog Fish Fingers Fish Fingers Factory. And uh, up there is where the manager sits, which we'll try not to get his notice. We'll just go to work and, uh, you know, do our job. He shouldn't have any reason to have problems with us. We'll get ourselves a knife. I've already got one, though come over here and start working the line so that uh, we can actually get some fish coming. Now if I scooch over just a bit, you may see that we actually have fish coming out of that dispenser there. Which then just come down the line. You need to get to work cutting those fish up. They all come from these freshly spawned pools here in the back of the factory. <laughs> I suppose. And uh, around the corner here, I've got a nice little farmhouse. we got lots of people in town, so they need lots of food. Lots of wheat, my pumpkins, melons, all you could want to eat. We have a little water tower here that actually feeds the whole water supply down. And then, uh, let's see, if we head back over towards the main part of town, we'll just go along the bridge here. This is the, uh, the back of the inn. There 
there is another little farmhouse up here on this hill that just grows a little bit of surplus wheat, just in case. This is just a nice little farmhouse. Just one farmer lives in there. And there are a few more farms around the corner. This right here is our general store. And then uh, the little village well. Uh, there's also a little pond and square here in the mi middle of town where there's a, another little marketplace and uh, one house. Everybody else pretty much lives inside their shops. They have beds downstairs. Little basement dwellings. This here is our church. It's got a golden bell tower up there. And uh, let's see. If we go inside, you can see there's a bunch of pews in here for the uh, preacher to get up here and do a sermon. I guess if it gets really heated, it actually starts opening all these things up. So <laughs> just to get everybody's attention, there is a, a stairwell up here that you can go up to the uh, innards of the tower itself, but there's nothing really in here. Just a nice view. Out the back here of the church, there's a, a nice little well, and then there's a, a graveyard around the back here. But of course, what would uh, any village be with just a church and uh, not a voodoo lady? So up here on the hill, we've got the uh, the voodoo lady's house. Uh, let's see, I think I even gave this place a name, didn't I? Oh yeah, there we go. There's a, a nice little water feature here at the end of town. And then we go up these stairs to uh, Mama Jamba's Voodoo Emporium. Oh, child, I tell you, the prices are so low here, you would not believe. Anyways, uh, around the back of the mountain here, she's got her little campfire. And if we go up here, actually, into her house, you'll see it's uh, it's sort of creepy. It's uh, She doesn't really take good care of this place, but, uh, you know, that's her prerogative. It's her place, so... She's got a little altar out the back here, so I guess she can cast spells out over the village. And then, uh, if we continue around the square of town here, there's this little covered bridge part that uh, leads up and into the side part of the, uh, the fort itself. So we're just going to go right that way and go up into the fort. Which this here goes onto the mid-level, which actually has the, uh, prison cells here, just in case anybody can needs to be locked away for a bit. The uh, the main door to the fort is actually down here in this spot, but that mainly just goes up to that and then around the corner here there's a hall well, a hallway through so that you can get, there we go, in here to the Pirate King's throne room. This is where the Pirate King sits and if, uh, if you go kneel right here on this gold spot and tell him all the good deeds of piracy you've done his little partner over here can hit this button and you'll notice it spits out gold coins. Yes, just rewarding you for all the good pirating deeds. And uh, let's see, if we keep going down the hall here, there's a ladder here. The next level up above the throne room is where the Pirate King himself sleeps. Got a nice little covered bed there and a uh, little seating arrangement and as well as a balcony to look out into the harbor. But if we go back and up the stairs once more, which this leads around into that same level as the uh, the prison was on here, the first part, right there. Stairwell down here, though, we can go up one more level. Oops, scooch over. There we go. And on top of the uh, the Pirate King's bedroom is the Voodoo Lady's room. Oh, yes. There's a lot of magic that happens here. She also has her own little balcony out the front, and uh, even another little balcony here off the side with a special rise up altar so she can come out here and cast spells at those bad bad men over there make them go away and uh, she also has a port to the nettle here but uh, I've actually been building something really special in here guys so you'll have to tune back in later to come and see what's inside my nether portal and uh, if we continue on that little tour though here's the roof of the fort itself except for this little part back here attached to the mountain and if we come up the stairs back around this way right here is the pirate boardroom uh, oh, nope, wait, my bad. That's the pirate plank room. And a uh, terrible joke to boot. Here is the pirate boardroom. There we go. Nice little table. Seats all around for all the pirate captains to gather and make their plans. Here's where the pirate captain sits. And uh, if you'll notice, one of these stones is a little different. So if you put an actual key on here. Oh, and unlock the secret way into the pirate's golden chamber. Yeah, this is where they keep all that booty they've plundered from ships galore with one little porthole window at the back here. Let's see. I think that's just about it for the Pirate Village. There is also this uh, tower up here, which is basically for snipers. Oh, it's right now manned by pigs. They can come here and shoot arrows out this way to help defend their village. And then the stairwell leads up 
There's not really any way to climb these towers. They're just sort of lighthouses. But this does rise to the standard of the, the village itself, the pirate flag, which uh, at a close range sort of looks like a weird, blocky Princess Leia bun hairdo thing. But uh, if you get far enough back over here, or even away from the pirate ship itself, you'll notice that that flag looks a little bit more like a skull and crossbones. Sort of. You know, it's sort of limited with the blocks you have. Uh, let's see, actually there is one more bit. You'll notice the pirate fort itself is built on this nice flat plain, but over in this corner there's a little open hole on the docking part of it. Which if we come down here, and uh, somebody inside can hit this switch to open the port itself, you can pull your boats right in here and go into the little sewer underneath the village. And uh, at this end of the hall there's a doorway that goes to that ladder, which I was using to show you all the different floors. That goes all the way back up to the top. Uh, we come down this way though, get into the actual part of the sewer itself, which all of the waste of the town flows right through here. But uh, we keep it moving nicely so it doesn't build up stink too bad. Uh, if we come down to this far end of the hall, this actually comes out back around by the side entrance, that little covered bridge. And there's the side entrance up into the fort. Uh, and if we go down to the hall to the right here, which these here are the main parts of the sewer, uh, we actually come to another door down at this end, which comes out underneath the uh, the tavern pier. And there's a little spot down here where you can hit these buttons and go fishing off the pier or in those little spots out here if it's raining even. But uh, here's the little pier in front of the uh, tavern itself. And uh, the only part left of this village I haven't shown you is down deep in the heart of the sewer itself. At this far end, I've made a spot so that you can actually use this map for PvP. Because down here, you know, trader, or, uh, pirating is a traitorous practice. Lots of backstabbers in that business. And uh, just in case, we had to install Black Skull Prison here, which is a 16-cell uh, holding area. And uh, if you're actually playing this map on PvP, you can get everybody in here except for the uh, moderator. And you can either open the cells one at a time. You know, oh, my sounds are off. That's why it's so quiet. I should pay better attention to that. There we go. Just turn them up a little bit and you can hear them at least. So we can open all those doors up on that side or close them back up. Open all these doors or close them back up. Or if we hit this middle switch here, it'll open or close all the doors. So let everybody out. They're free to run PvP style. Out these doors and then they have three choices of ways to go. Either into the uh, the pier and the tavern towards the, uh, the little port spot and the tower or over this way towards the village square. And uh, I've had fun building this little village. I just come back and put little knickknacks in every now and then. Have fun building on it. Try to make little features. Make it a nice place to live. I can't wait for us to get villagers. Oh, you know what? Actually, if we come back over here, one last thing I'll show you before we go is uh, I actually spent a couple of hours doing this just because I'm bored and I like to. Here in my little graveyard, uh, well, apparently there's zombies around here. Which is fitting for a graveyard. I actually have a little mausoleum, and there lies uh, One-Eyed Jack. Let's see, along the way here, we've got uh, Mr. Tom Timbers, R.I.P. Please don't shiver me. Captain R. Matey wrote the book on pirate cliches. Rest in peace, Simon Honeydew. He finally dug too deep. Here lies my free time, lovingly wasted. Uh, the Dream of Buried Treasure. Mm. Mark Twain, not so greatly exaggerated now, eh? Uh, Bill Drat Billy, who died of Cactus Green, and says, I told you I was sick! Also, Sticky Jim, a wee tiny man with a long rod. Uh, we've got uh, Captain Greybeard, who died age 104. Only the good die young. There's also Gilbert, the sad snowman. We thought he wouldn't do it. Which is a, uh, a character from Rithian and Zoe, if you don't know. And then there's Spongebob Pirate Pants, of course, but uh, he was ready. And if you actually take the time to dig up any of these graves, you will find that down beneath... There are coffins. Look at there. There's SpongeBob Pirate Pants himself. But well, there's his Pirate Pants. He's got a burger in this hand and a watch in this hand. Gilbert the Sad Snowman over here. Yeah, look, poor melted bastard. He's got a lighter in one hand, a lava bucket in the other, and a copy of the record 13. No wonder he was so depressed, huh? If you come over here to dig up Simon Honeydew's grave, what would you expect to find after he dug too deep? All that picks and shovels from his diggy diggy holes. These are actually the uh, picks and shovels I used to clear out most of this island before there was creative. I actually used all these up. 
And, uh, anyways, guys, if you'd ever like, come check out my pirate village and see what you think. I've, uh, I've put little details all over the place. Just having fun. Keep building. I sort of styled it off of a testificate village, but with a, a, a dash morph bit of fancy. Anyways, I sure like it. And, uh, I just want to come and say hi to you guys on 1212, which is my birthday. Spend a little time with y'all since, uh, I've been really enjoying hanging out with you guys. This has been fun. So if you want to see more, come back later. And, uh, you're always welcome to come and check out what's in my nether in the next video because that is going to be a big surprise. And I think you may like it. Anyways, guys, you guys have a pleasant day.